Good morning, Cougars. I'm Lupe. And I'm Alex. And today is Thursday, August 19th, 2021. We remind you every broadcast to get your envelopes in for the Ed Support Campaign. Our first teacher balloon launch is scheduled for this Friday at lunch, and the students chosen at random to participate will be announced today. Have you not bought an ASB card? Would you like a chaparral face mask? Did you miss out on getting your CMS sweater? Then come to Cougar Cave outside the ASB room today. Prices should be listed on a poster in your classroom from your ASB rep. August 25th is Picture Day. Pictures will be taken during PE. Thanks so much for joining us, and we will see you back here tomorrow. Today we're ending with our first Thursday's thoughts from our brand new principal, Mr. Jung. Have a great day, Cougars. Shh, I forgot to say it. Good morning, Chaparral Cougars. It's Mr. Jung with your first installment of Thursday Thoughts for the 21-22 school year. Before I dive into that, let me talk a little bit about Chaparral Middle School so you have some context. At, at Chaparral, you're going to fre frequently hear us refer to what we call the four A's. The first A is academics. You come to school ready to learn. You come to school, you, you remain engaged in class. Uh, you work hard in the classroom, you work hard at home as you prepare for the next day or as a review for, the, for what you learned that day. Academics is one of the cornerstones of what we do at Chaparral Middle School. And it's also one of the areas in which we want to continue to prepare you for the next step. And so it is absolutely a big piece of our school. Another important thing that we do at Chaparral, starts with an A, is arts. We believe that your involvement and investment in the arts is going to make us better whole person. And so whether you're an accomplished musician or a novice beginning dancer or a thespian actor, whatever it is, painter, drawer, creative writer, whatever it is, and whether you're skilled or just starting out, there's a place for you here. So I want you to continue to hone that craft, be involved, and I uh, can't wait to see what you produce. Another A that we have at our school is activities. We believe at Chaparral that all these activities leads to an enriching life and, and an enriching student experience. So many of you have asked me recently about clubs. We do have a strong club life here at school. And so we want you to get involved in whatever interests you. When the time comes in about a month or so, be on the lookout, join a club or two, and uh, be involved in, in all the ways that Chaparral can offer to you. And finally, the last A is athletics. When it is safe to do so, we will resume our athletic competition with neighboring schools. And it's always fun to see you all out there running around, uh, catching footballs or spiking the volleyball or whatever it is. And, and I, I look forward to seeing all of that again this year. But to all of our athletes and to all of our uh, beginning or novice athletes, stay engaged in that as well. It will make us all a better uh, student here at Chaparral. That's why there's four A's and not just one, because we want, all, we want you to be experienced and have experience in all four of those things. We think that's gonna give you um, the most enriching experience here in your next one, two, or three years at Chaparral. Well, this Thursday, I wanna talk about the theme we're gonna focus on for the month. That theme is growth mindset, but I wanna talk about a very specific aspect of growth mindset. Let me tell you a little quick story as we start. Um, I am new to Chaparral. As a matter of fact, your first day of school was my first day of school. So we're new together, if, if that was your first day. I am not new as a principal, and I've been a principal for three years before. This is my fourth year as a principal. And so when I sat down at my desk on that first day, I knew what I was supposed to do. I knew what kind of forms to fill out or what kind of paperwork I needed to do or what kind of meetings I needed to have or how to run a staff meeting or how to meet students or how to stand in the traffic line and wave your parents through. Those things I knew. But you know what I wasn't quite prepared for? And it was a little bit humbling, to be honest with you. I couldn't answer some of the simple questions that you all had for me. And they were great questions. I was standing in the hallway uh, between first and second period, watching our students, watching all of you go from one class to the next. And uh, because maybe because I looked official, I don't know, I was wearing a chaparral shirt that day. Uh, people would come up to me and say, hey, Mr. Jung, where's room 104? Where's room 112? Where's room 114? I don't know. 
<laughs> Let me get my map. But you know, it was really hard for me as somebody who has had a lot of experience doing something to not be good at something. It was really hard for me to not be good at knowing the school and where all the rooms were. I didn't have that memorized yet. I didn't know all the staff members by name yet. But you know, the key is that I knew one day I would, and, and I wanted that one day to come soon. So here's what I did. I asked other people for help. I asked Mrs. Loera for help. I asked her counselors for help. I asked our wonderful office staff for help. I asked other teachers as they walked by for help. And I just love that everyone was so helpful. You see, when things are tough, when I feel like I don't know something or I'm not good at something, you don't just automatically get better at it just because. You get better at it because you keep working at it. So as I'm working at it, I'm realizing you don't just get better just because you're working at it. You get better at it because you're working at it while other people are helping you along the way. And that's the key I want you all to recognize and realize today is that there is a lot of help available for you at Chaparral. And that same day when I was standing in that hallway, a student would come up and before they can ask me for help um, because they looked lost, another student would come and go to that student without any prompting, without anyone saying anything to that student. They would say, hey, uh, can I help you find a class? And that student would say, yeah, I'm looking for Mrs. So-and-so's class. Oh, you know what? I'm going that way. I know where that is. Let me help you. Just follow me. Helping each other get better at something that we're not quite good at yet. Growth mindset, as we get better at things, we know we're going to get better at things, uh, realize that it sometimes comes because of the help that we get along the way. So I want to kind of give you two things this morning. Number one, don't be afraid to ask for help. Do not be afraid to ask for help. Everyone needs it. Your principal needs it. So... Don't be afraid to ask for help. But number two, and, and this is gonna be important for all of us, especially our eighth graders, don't be afraid to give the help. I want us to be a campus that is just full of helpers. We don't need to be asked. We're not waiting around to see if somebody needs help. Like we're just gonna help. If we see some trash on the floor, we'll pick it up because it's helpful. If we see somebody lost because they're trying to, they're you know maybe the first or second day on campus, we're gonna help them through it. Be the helper. As we talk about growth mindset this month, as we talk about getting better at things, maybe things that we're not quite good at yet, remember that it's the help along the way that helps us get there. I hope everyone has a wonderful Thursday and rest of the week. And remember, we're all here for each other.